Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different to what I have done previously on my channel. At the beginning of this year, one of my New Year's resolutions was to do a big declutter of pretty much everything that I own. <laughs> but I have some bigger items that I'm going to be decluttering and then a couple of smaller areas as well. The smaller areas, I'm thinking of doing a decluttering series, like a little mini series over on my Instagram stories. But for the bigger items, like my wardrobe and my makeup vanity I thought I would put into a video for my channel just because there's a lot more in here that we can go through and declutter. Full disclaimer I do have a little bit more makeup than the average person would do. I did go to university and college to study makeup and I did do freelance makeup artistry for a little while as well so I do have quite a big collection of stuff really. <laughs> I did actually do a little mini declutter probably early last year now um where i did get rid of a fair amount but there's still some stuff in here that i just i know i don't use and i'm not going to use and i'd rather it go to people who is actually going to make some use of it and enjoy it so we're going to go for everything in here and declutter everything there's some stuff in here that i definitely am thinking of donating or giving to friends and family and then some other things as well which i'm pretty sure are expired so they need to go in the bin or be recycled but yeah let me give you a little close up so you can see what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is my makeup vanity as it stands. I got this from a company called, I think it was myfurniture.com a couple of years ago, but I love it. It's perfect for makeup storage and any kind of storage really, but I absolutely love this dresser. At the minute I organize everything kind of by category. So I have my makeup brushes on the stand here and most of my lip products. And then what we're going to be going through today are all of these top drawers and these two drawers here. So I'll take you through the drawers themselves so you can see what's in them. This top one here is where I just keep most of my face products really. So things like foundations, concealers, primers, powders, setting sprays and more sort of beauty blenders and tools and things. This next drawer is where I keep all of my palettes. I've got big palettes at the back, small ones at the front and then some spare lip products and lip liners. The drawer underneath is kind of miscellaneous at the moment. This is where I keep my main makeup bags for makeup products I use on a daily basis. I have my brush cases, some cleaning products for brushes and stuff. So this one definitely needs to be gone through. In the middle drawer, I keep all of my eye products really that aren't eyeshadow palettes per se. So I have things like mascaras in here, some single eyeshadows eyeliners, glitters, some full slashes at the back there and brow products. These are a couple of glitter palettes and stuff as well. And then in the final drawer, I keep all of my bronzers, which are right at the back. You can't really see them. <laughs> bronzers, blushes, and highlights. There's a couple of palettes in here as well as singles and some liquid products as well. So yeah, like I said, it's not too bad in terms of organization at the moment. I did do a bit of a declutter early last year, like I mentioned, but there's still definitely some stuff in here that needs to be gone through and got rid of. Definitely some bits that are expired. So we're going to do that today. I will try and link this dresser down in the description box below if anyone is interested in it. I do really love how wide the drawers are and they go really far back as well. There's like tons of space back here. It's great for fitting in all of these organizers and everything. So I think I'm going to take everything out that needs to be gone through first and then at the end, I will give you more of a little mini tour of my refined makeup collection. So this is my little setup for organizing and going through everything. So I have a pile for stuff I'm going to be keeping, a pile for friends and family, a pile for stuff that I'm going to donate, and then a bag for anything that needs to go in the bin or recycling. So yeah, I'm super excited for this declutter. Let's get started. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go I don't 
don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom I thought I had downsized, my god, there's still so much here to go through. saying goodbye all i know is i need to be somewhere else to set me free i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be everything that I have organized now into piles. This is the pile that I'm keeping. Don't be alarmed, I know it still looks like a lot but 
it's a lot less than it was to start with which is good enough for me and everything here I know that I will still get some use out of which is great this pile here is stuff that is for friends and family a lot of this stuff is still brand new um so i know some people who will definitely still get some use out of this and really enjoy it and then this pile over here is for stuff that i'm going to donate some of it is brand new some of it is very lightly used and that i just won't use it a few things i think i'm going to try and sell though um, but the majority of it i'm going to donate and then this is the pile of stuff that is for the bin or the recycling. It's not actually that big. There's a couple of mostly just sort of like makeup cartons in here. Um, but there are a couple of things that I just know are expired. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and clean out my vanity drawers, give everything a good wipe over and organize this lot back into the vanity. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you're a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see you, see you how Rewind, when we rewind It feels so nice, we time So I have just finished cleaning and reorganizing all of the products I'm keeping back into their organizers and drawers in the vanity and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks pretty much exactly the same <laughs> as it did when we started on top because not much has really changed. Most of my brushes, are, surprisingly, I do use a lot of these so I'm keeping all of those but I will go through each of the drawers and show you so I thought I'd start over here with my lipstick stand. This stand is from Amazon, I'm pretty sure, but it was gifted to me a couple of years ago. As you can see, this is a lot less full now. I mean, it wasn't full to start with, but I have cleared out quite a lot of the stuff that I know I don't use, I'm, no, I'm never going to use, and has probably expired. Moving on to the first drawer, which is still where I keep all of my main face products, things like uh, my foundations, concealers, powders, and all of that. The layout of most of these drawers hasn't really changed. Um, really, I could probably fit more per drawer, but I just like to keep it separated this way. I just find it a little bit easier to navigate. But in here, I have all of my foundations. So I have a couple of the Wet n Wild ones. This It Cosmetics CC Cream is something I use daily. I love it. I've got my setting sprays at the back. Most of these are Makeup Revolution. Some primers, 
some concealers, spare concealers. I do use the shape tape on a daily basis. All of my day-to-day -day makeup, uh, which was in the bottom drawer, I have just kind of had a little tidy through really, but I haven't taken it out or included it in most of the declutter because it didn't need it. And then there's a couple of powders in here. I have a loose powder from Jeffree Star and the blotting powder from Fenty. And then a couple of tools and spare beauty blenders here. In the next drawer is all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I have the big ones at the back. There's mostly just Morphe and some Jeffree Star ones here. And then the smaller ones at the front. Again, these are a couple of the Makeup Revolution ones. There's an Urban Decay one there, Jeffree Star one. And then my Z palette, which has got mostly Makeup Geek singles in there. Ignore my hands, this is just from where I wiped off all of those lipsticks from earlier. And then I have my lip liners in this little container here too. As I said, this bottom drawer I didn't really include in the big declutter because this has just got most of my sort of storage bags for makeup and my daily makeup bag which is this one right here so I just gave this a little bit of a tidy up and a wipe down these are just some more cleaning products these are my brush cases that I use for traveling uh, this is another makeup bag that I use on the daily some fans and some pretty packaging that came off of some of the makeup that I like to keep just in case the middle drawer I would say is definitely the one that had the biggest declutter. There were so many eyeliners and stuff in here and mascaras that had expired and just gone funny, especially like the brow products and stuff. Like I think this was almost full when I started and I now just have three items in here. <laughs> I managed to fit all of my full lashes that I'm going to keep into this one little bag here. These are just some spare of the like squidgy things that you use on the eyelash curlers. You are supposed to replace those semi-regularly i'm not too sure exactly how long but i always keep these as a backup for when those need changing but yeah here i just have my glitter palette i have some more glitters at the back some sort of liquid ones and some loose ones that i use that's my false eyelash glue and some glitter glue i have some pencil eyeliners so a black one and a couple of colors some liquid eyeliners and a couple of glitter liners this is for all of my mascaras and a spare eyelash curler and then in here I just got a couple of miscellaneous things there's a couple of spare sort of like pigment pots that I need to give a clean out so I can keep those a few loose single eyeshadows I love the makeup geek ones I'm so sad that they're not in the UK anymore since they had a rebrand and then a couple of spare tools and then the last drawer is also pretty bare right now I actually don't have any organization drawer units for this particular drawer like I do in the others I have the acrylic containers for this one I don't really have anything um, and I think that's why it looks a lot more bare but same setup I've just got my bronzers at the back those are pretty much just a Makeup Revolution palette and the Hoola bronzer I've got two Makeup Revolution blush palettes here Benefit Dandelion and then a couple of some drugstore blushes which I think are good and then my highlights I've just got a couple of the limited edition MAC ones there's a Fenty one in there Becca and a couple of drugstore ones as well. If you guys can recommend any good drawer organizers to house this sort of stuff, like these sort of like little cosmetic cases, definitely let me know because I'm interested in getting something to organize this drawer and just make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, here is another overview of the stuff that's going to friends and family and then stuff to donate. I just went through it again and just sort of did a little bit of reorganizing, but if you guys can recommend any good places to donate lightly used or new makeup, please pop them in the comments because I'd love to hear some recommendations of where I can donate this stuff. But yeah, we are done with the declutter of the makeup vanity. So I really hope you guys enjoyed decluttering all of my makeup with me and reorganizing everything. I feel so much better knowing that it's done now and just getting rid of stuff that I know is like expired and everything as well. Just, it feels so much nicer to know that everything in here is clean and organized. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I would definitely recommend for you guys to do something like this as well. If you have anything in your house that you want to declutter and give a good clean out, now is the time to do it, especially during lockdown. If you'd like to follow me over on Instagram, I'll pop the handle for that into the video right now. As I said, I'm hoping to do a little sort of decluttering mini series over on my stories on my Instagram. So make sure you stick around so you don't miss that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.